looks like my prediction of uh, the AEW self-destruction by Tony Khan is, is starting to come to light. You can only f around so many times before you find out what it looks like, Tony Khan, when your wrestlers aren't happy anymore. So Fightful Select is reporting that AEW megastar Jade Cargill is finishing up with AEW this week and looking to make the immediate jump to WWE. Now, this is what happens when you cater to a subsection of your audience, you lose the actual marketable talent. AEW has bent over backwards to make sure that talent like the Elite, Soraya, Britt Baker, all get all of the focus and attention on, on AEW television. And, and you gotta explain to me how you justify not throwing the entire AEW bank account at somebody as marketable as, as Jade Cargill. You, you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that for the last week, we've been getting rumors about Edge jumping to AEW all the while, Tony Khan. You can't keep the people in your own locker room happy. You can't keep Jade Cargill on your roster. I will take this trade every day of the week and then some. This possibly could be the biggest steal of talent in pro wrestling history. And wasn't Jade Cargill one of those CM Punk supporters? This is 100% mismanagement by AEW and Tony Khan. This constant need to fulfill the elite's wishes. What do you do now, Tony? What, what is WB going to think of this? You just literally let your biggest commercial star walk out of the door. Imagine a world where Jade Cargill and CM Punk both show up in WWE in the near future. You're talking about over 50% of the AEW draw. This is the type of stuff that ruins companies. If Jay Cargill leaves, I, I'll be honest with you. I think there's an exodus coming from AEW. I think there is a divide in the locker room. And I think that the CM Punk firing drew a line in the sand. Tony Khan has to realize this is what cancer does. This is what cancer does to a company. In the elite, they are cancer. The mentality that they have spread throughout the company, it, it, it's ridiculous. I think, to be honest with you, Endeavor taking over WWE this past week, it, it, there's a confidence within wrestlers in the business to understand that Endeavor has the funds to court people like CM Punk and Jay Cargill. I could see Ricky Starks being the next guy to leave. And, and uh, uh oh, you know whose who's contract is coming up especially soon? Oh, oh yeah, that guy MJF. I, I'm thinking it's looking more and more like MJF could make the jump over to WWE. Right now, just imagine the possibilities for Jade Cargill in WWE. You could go Bianca and Jade. You can go Charlotte and Jade, Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley. This, this is going to be a fun Thursday as this story unfolds. And I, I will talk about this more on the Friday Night SmackDown post show. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to gloat a little bit because a couple weeks ago, I said on my podcast that I believe Tony Khan is going to self-implode his company and it is looking more and more like that's about to happen. We will talk about this more on the Friday Night SmackDown post show this week. So check that out every Friday night on the Casual Wrestling Community channel. Step in the ring. If you ready, let's go. Hey, hey. Casual Wrestling Community Show. You already know. Talking WWE. Keep it rolling and hosted by Notorious Nerdy D. Hey. Dope a show that you gon' find. Tune in cause it's online. Hit them with a figure four leg lock, pie driver, a clothesline. We bringing that heat like the show. 